welcome to the 12th and final Urban Dialogue. As you may be aware, NIOA has been in collaboration with ADB and the India Habitat Center, organizing these series of lectures on emerging urban issues to generate new discourses and open discussion on the many ideas, issues, and phenomena that make up our current understanding of how urbanity functions and how we can bring together the various narratives of urban identity in the making of our collective urban futures. The theme of the dialogue today is discovering the city through filmmaking. We are very pleased to introduce our speakers for the evening, Akanksha and Basan. Akanksha is a documentary filmmaker specializing in the wildlife arena. She has been awarded the 61st National Film Award for her directorial debut, The Pat Piper, in 2014. Basan has been uh, involved in the Mumbai film circuit for a long time. His debut film, Peddlers, was screened at the Cannes Critic Week in 2012. Um, I think that's a movie we'll be talking about later in the evening in detail. Uh, filmmaking is perhaps one of the most powerful mediums for visualizing culture and social changes, but how does a filmmaker see a city? A film is as much a portrait of a city as it is of its people. Films are also intrinsically linked to their locations. And sometimes we find films paying tributes to the cities by featuring them predominantly as another character in the film's narrative. Movie locations can be so powerful in, in the film's storytelling process that if you pick up the story of the film and take it to another location, it would probably compromise the overall effect of that movie. Cities are not just places, but they are also coordinates in time and space. The city is interwoven with the character's identities, and our notions of the self are very intrinsically connected to and shaped by where we live, and how our environment defines who we are. We see a city in flux, and we are often reminded that nothing is permanent, and our own identities are fluid and evolving. As we move through the course of this dialogue, we shall discuss how places often become supporting characters or props in a film, and how cities can be protagonists in film storytelling. So uh, without uh, taking up much time, I invite Akanksha to open the dialogue on how filmmakers view space and imagine cities. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm going to start with a quick clip, and I'm going to ask you a question after that, yeah? structures which you see that make you say Matra Vindavan, right? And obviously it's 
very well known. You see this in cinemas, you've read about it, so you know it's Mathura Vrindavan because it's one of the most celebrated festivals from there, right? You're correct when you said Mathura Vrindavan. You know, this, this clip was shot uh, about two, three years ago, we were there for two months in Mathura Vrindavan. And why I've shown it is because, you know, it instantly tells people Mathura Vrindavan because there's so much associated with it. The, the story that it's saying, the culture that it's showing, it's very typical of a place we know. And a lot of this has come from what we've seen, not just through cinema, but obviously the news, what we've read about, we've associated all that together in our minds and we said this is Mathura Vrindavan, right? This, this clip is telling a story and cinema is storytelling, you know? Cinema fiction, non-fiction, documentary, wildlife, drama, the past, the present, the future, everything put together, you know, that's what cinema is all about. It's all about storytelling and that's the universal language of it. Cinema communicates ideas emotionally, it moves us. It represents and at the same time it signifies. Any film, whether it's fiction or non-fiction, is set in a space, okay? That space could be anything, it could be a village, it could be a jungle, it could be a city, it could even be something on another planet, but it's a space. And what defines the space is the structures that you see, you can easily identify. If you see a clip of Delhi, you see the Kutub Minar, you say, ah, that's Delhi. You know, you see the gateway of India, you say that's Bombay. You know, so there are these structures that make a city.